Hey everyone, this is Professor Monty. What I'd like to show you today is how to graph a scatter plot and the regression line on a TI-83 or 84 calculator. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some X and Y values here that we're going to use for our problem. And so let's see, we'll do one, two, three, four, five for the X values. For the Y values, let's go 13, 11, 6, 7, and 4. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into the calculator. I'm going to put that data in to list one and list two. So the way I do that, I'm going to go over, I'm going to hit stat and edits the first one. You can either hit one or just hit enter since it's highlighted. And I'm going to clear that data out. So let's arrow up. Don't hit delete and delete the whole list. The whole list disappears. Just hit clear. If you accidentally delete the list, I've got another video that shows you how to get it back. It's real easy. So I hit clear. I arrow down. All that goes away. I'm going to do the same thing in list two, just so we start off with a couple blank lists. Okay. So let's go back to list one. I'm going to put my X values in there. So one, two, notice I'm hitting enter after each number, three, four, and five. And then I'll just go over to list two, 13, 11, 13, 11, six, seven, and four. All right. So I've got all that down there. Oops, hit enter as I said. So now I've got all my data in list one and list two. So what I'm going to do is, hey, let's clear all those lists over here so we don't have to look at those anymore. I'm going to clear list three just so that doesn't mess us up and you don't think we need anything there. And you could leave the list three there. It wouldn't make a difference. We just want a cleaner screen. Okay, so now there's a couple different ways to get the regression equation. One is to go stat, calculate, and look under number four, linear regression A plus B, AX plus B, or under eight, linear regression A plus BX. Either of those will show you the regression equation just in a different form, whether you have the slope before the y-intercept or vice versa. But on the TI-83, that's all it does for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it in, in tests. We're going to do a linear regression t-test. It's going to give us more information, but it will allow us to input the regression equation ourselves. And here's what I mean. So if I want to graph this, say I just want to graph that scatter plot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go second stat plot. Notice it's up here above the y equals make sure that the first one is on and the rest of these are off. Now, plots on just turns them all on. Plots off turns them all off. We're just looking at these first three. So I'm going to hit enter. Notice mine's already on, but if it was over here, if it was already off, then just arrow over, hit enter, and it'll turn it on. The graph that I want is this very first one. So hit enter. Now, on some of the TI-83s, if you want to get to a graph that's further off to the right, you have to go to the right, even though it's below, and it'll loop around. But for us, we're just going to hit enter. That's going to be the right graph. And it asks us, hey, where's, where's your X list? Oh, that's in list one. So we'll arrow down. Our Y list is in list two. That's perfect. And then you can change the mark if you want to. I'm going to use this box because it gives me a good picture. I only have a few data points. If I had a lot of data points, I'd probably go to the little dot but it doesn't matter, but I've got everything in there. That's all I need to do. And then from there, I'm just going to push the graph button up here. So I push graph and notice you can't see anything because the window's in the wrong place, but real easy to get the window moved over. You hit this button here that says zoom. And then down at number nine, it says zoom stat. It's going to zoom in for any stat plot I have. And you can arrow down. I'm just going to hit the number nine. But notice it shows there's my scatter plot. And so if you wanted to see the X and Y axis, then you may want to do a window from negative one for the X value, the minimum X value, and negative one for the negative Y value. I don't care. I just want to see my, my plot, but I also want to see the regression equation. So here's what I do. I'm going to go stat. Again, I'm going to go into tests, 
And then way at the bottom, so I'm going to arrow up to loop around, we have linear regression t-test. I'm going to choose that one. And then notice it already says the X list and the Y list are in list one and list two, which is perfect. Frequency, leave that at one. This thing that says beta and row, that's for a hypothesis test. We don't have to worry about that at this point. The only thing that's going to do is change the p-value for our hypothesis test. But I'm not doing a hypothesis test right now, so I'm going to skip past that. Now, here's that trick. If you want the calculator to graph the regression, the regression equation for you, you tell it here to put that in as a y value. And here's what you do. From there, we go up and we say variables, y variables, so arrow over to y variables, and choose that first one that says function, and then choose that at y1. And what that did is that put it, if we hit y equals, we're going to see the equation in there. But what I want to do is I just want to go down here and calculate this. And so y equals a plus bx. Oh, a is negative 2 point, oh, a is 14.8 and b is negative 2.2. So I've got my linear regression t-test has given me the regression equation because my regression equation right now, we usually call it y hat, a plus bx, it's 14.8 minus 2.2x. It's kind of a crazy looking two, isn't it? We'll clean that up a little bit. Oh. Minus 2.2x. So there's my regression equation. But watch this. The calculator actually put that in for me. So now when I go to graph, and we've already got everything set up, so watch what happens when I graph. It's going to graph the scatter plot again, but it graphs the regression line too because we told it to put it in for y. And so now I've got my graph and my regression equation. So both the scatter plot and the regression line are both graphed together. And so what I can do, here's what I was telling you. If I hit y equals, oh, notice what it did is it already put the regression equation in for us. And it'll always do that. It doesn't round off or anything. There'll be tons of variables, tons of decimal places. If you have a problem that doesn't work out as nicely as this one did, but that's literally all you do. If you forget how to do that, putting it in as y equals, you could have just gone into y equals like we just did, and you could have put that in yourself. So I could have said, so we have the 14.8 minus 2.2x. I could have, say that wasn't there, I could have put that in myself. And it's already y equals, and I do the 14.8, minus 2.2, and then I use the x from right here. And now when I graph it, it's still the same one because I put the equation in there myself. But by doing that with the y variables, plugging that in when we did the linear regression t-test, it puts the equation in there for us so we don't have to. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. And stick with this statistic because if you're at this point, hopefully you're doing well in the class and you're well on your way to being finished. So best of luck and remember, you can do this.